Whoa, where did he come from? He was there all the time. We just didn't see him. Daytime would be a different story. We'd have seen that car and been prepared in case it pulled out. We simply don't see as well when there's no sun to light things up for us. The only light we can count on comes from these. But to do the job, they need to be clean. Dirt on the lens can reduce light by as much as 90%. Now you see it. Now you don't. And both lights need to be working. Look at the difference between two lights and one. It's worth checking. If we're parked behind a car or in front of a garage door, we can use the reflection to see if both lights are working. Both are. But here, one isn't. We can also check for high and low beams. Both are OK. Now it's a matter of using them correctly. The first thing is, of course, to turn them on. The law requires turning them on by sunset. Actually, there's no law against turning them on whenever it's hard to see or be seen. At night, we sure need them for both. In fact, on a dark road like this, we need all the light we can get. High beams let us see about 250 feet ahead, more than twice as far as we can see with low beams. Enough distance to slow down and steer around that box. Sure, we have to dim them from time to time, but it's worth the effort to be able to spot problems while there's time to do something about them. Not here, though. On a well-lighted city street, we can see well enough with low beams. We don't need to keep raising and lowering beams. Sometimes, high beams aren't enough. Could we stop in time to avoid running into this car? Remember the sight distance rule? It said that we have to be able to stop in the distance that we can see. Let's use that parked car we saw back there and try the four second rule. Get ready. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1. We were going too fast to have stopped. This is called overdriving the headlights. If we drive any faster than 45 miles an hour, we're overdriving the headlights of most cars. Limited night visibility affects space as well as speed. First, with only taillights to go by, it's a little more difficult to tell how far back we are and how fast we're overtaking. Also, not being able to see beyond the headlights makes it difficult to anticipate when the car ahead may have to stop suddenly. That means we need to leave more space than we would in the daytime. 